one of the coolest, coolest things about YouTube, doing YouTube and being on YouTube, is meeting subscribers. And I'm so fortunate and so lucky to actually have a decent amount of people that know who I am. And when I travel to these different places within Germany, to have people that know me, that, that see me and want to talk to me and interact with me, it's one of the dopest things about doing this. I absolutely love this job. And no matter if I only get paid 75 cents every episode, I will continue to do them, but they will be more and more sucky because I cannot live off of 75 cents, maybe a dollar. Just, just give me a dollar each video. I can, I can do that. <laughs>
But the one thing that I couldn't escape, the one thing that was going and traveling with me everywhere that I went was myself. The idea of knowing that I quit something just because it's hard, knowing that I'm getting into this interior mode of like, secretly knowing that I can quit all the time. It was building something inside of me that I knew couldn't stay there anymore. So I decided to come back to Germany. I decided to face many of my problems and many of the things that I faced, but that was really the second time where I felt like I could have quit just like the army, but I knew I couldn't. And for me, myself, for people that know me on this channel, that's another reason why Germany holds so dear to my heart because that was the one time that I wanted to quit something, but I decided to pursue and push through it anyway. And the big thing is my daily vlog. See, the one thing that my mom always wanted from me was only to make sure that I was a productive member of society. But I've always said, that's fucking whack, mom. I could have been anything else. You couldn't want me to be a doctor or a lawyer, or maybe I could have even been the next dog whisperer. But no, I had to be a dog. That's why I went to jail so many times. And at that time, coming back to Germany, literally changing my life, changing my perspective and thinking about what did I want to do? What is my career path and where am I gonna be in the future? I knew what I wanted to do, and that was something that I've been trying to do for two and a half years now. That's the daily vlogs, daily stories, being creative every single day. And knowing that back then, knowing that it's gonna be difficult, knowing that it's gonna be very, very hard to do this thing, I wasn't even able to get over hump of like four days. And then when I told myself my latest theory, doing something every day for a thousand days. A thousand days. It seems unsurmountable. It seems crazy, but that seems super hard when you say it out loud, but all the things that actually made people were until they did them. If you quit on the process, you're quitting on the result. And while it may be okay for productive members of society to quit time to time, understanding that quitting is never an option leaves winning as the only option. But I've always had this idea, I've always knew that really when you think about it, people remember the big thing. Many people have made their mark from doing something grand, some super grand gesture like you see on the movies, but it's those small things that you do every single day that lead up to that big moment or that big thing that's always gonna get you there. Now, although I know some people will think this one small thing that I did is not really surmountable at all. It's not big, it's not grand, it's not life-changing to them, but for me, knowing the type of person that I am inside, how I feel about putting out things that just aren't good, like, at all, <laughs> doing that anyway to serve the bigger good, to serve the greater goal, that was life changing for me. It's And it's crazy. And I literally almost cried when I put that video out, but I'm starting to cry a lot. 2020 has got me really emotional. But doing that anyway, doing it in spite of what I think on the inside of myself, doing that in spite of what people might think about me, what my numbers might mean, what the analytics might say, doing that in spite of all that stuff for my greater good, for the purpose that I put out this for in the first place. Remembering who I was when I first started this journey, that's everything to me. Setup looks really good, right? Oh yeah. Could hurt you too.